We live in challenging and interesting times. Just like our ancestors, there's always been some sort of fuck up created by some sort of weird societal uh, thing called government that fucks with the people. So this is no different, folks. This is no different. If you want to lighten up your little stay-at-home cabin blues, your little lockdown, hey, let's find something new to watch, interesting, while we still have the internet, <laughs> try George Carlin. If you haven't heard of George Carlin, uh, I'm sure you have been living under a rock. Speaking of which, what do we have happening? Ooh, after um, this uh, 19 thing, this uh, con, uh, id, uh, we have ATLAS. ATLAS is a acronym for um, basically alerting individuals that there's an asteroid which was discovered. It's a C-19 was its little code word. Yeah, another 19, folks. Another, another little nine kind thing. Little nine. Another, another one nine. Well, I like to do this. One plus nine equals ten. Ten equals one. Because you always drop the zero in numerology. I don't care who fucking owns this number or what it's supposed to mean, but it's a one. You know what that means? It means you're the one. It's up to you to take care of you and to find a way in your life to make the events of the day strengthen you and not break you. Okay? George Carlin said, Bullshit is the glue that binds us as a nation. Where would we be without our safe, familiar American bullshit? And he goes on. And he says at the end, um, your standard of living will never decline. Everything is going to be just fine. Now, he was being sarcastic. <laughs> unlike the lion shills that we see on the television. So, let me remind you. George Jr., he lied about 9-11. He knew full damn well that they were going to war and that that was the push they needed to get the empathy of the world and the readiness of the American people to wave the American flag and kill the enemy. While the gun sales were, were, what was it? They made lots of profits selling to both sides. Yeah. War is a profiteer's wet dream. And when it happens, it's their big orgy. And all they want is more of it. Why? Because war is what they're here for. And if they're not here for war, to, to live off of the misery of the humanity, then they will create some sort of weird scare to get you scared. Woo! So what's the new scare? We're going to have forced vaccinations docking, do, knocking door to door. And at the same time, we have the census going on. And so far, only 35% of people in some place in Florida have actually answered. And they blame it on COVID because, oh my God, those people either, one, don't trust the government anymore. <laughs> Two, they died from the virus. Or three, they don't give a shit. Or four, they can't read and throw it into the trash because they speak something besides English and Spanish. <laughs> George Carlin, folks. All right? This man was a philosopher, and he gave us his philosophy in the name of comedy. So, he says, he says people are bought off and silenced by gizmos and toys. And that this is something that you're going to love. And I'll talk to you about my rock here. This is actually a meteorite. Guess what? Science class, since all you kids, adult ones, may or may not have passed it. Oh gosh, I better be right about this. An asteroid is outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Whereas a meteorite enters the Earth's atmosphere. This here, yes, is a true blue meteorite. And I found this 
on my property in Arizona. I own it. So, outright. Um, I'm going to go here. This is George Legend, excuse me, he's a legend. Uh, George Carlin on God, The Planet, and The Freak Show. So, this is it on YouTube if you want to find it yourself. And this is where I want to listen to. I'm going to go to where it gets good. I give myself a divorce. I say, George, emotionally you have no stake in this. You don't care one way or another. So watch it. Have fun. You know what? I say it this way. When you're born in this world, you're given a ticket to the freak show. And when you're born in America, you're given a front row seat. <laughs> and some of us get to sit there with notebooks. And I'm a notebook guy. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. Did you see that? Did you see what you just And I watch the freak show. And I get my notes and I make up stuff about it and I talk about the freaks and the freaks are all humans and they're like me and they're all... Essentially, welcome to the freak show of your life. And this big change that it is now permanent in part of our society is the same permanency that happened with airport security after 9-11. Okay? Didn't that happen? Didn't we all have to go through security lines? And if you had to pay to play, if you wanted to get a known traveler number, you paid an extra $85 for X amount of years, I think five. And that's uh, worth it, if you ask me, for saving time. And, uh, but it costs money. It costs money to play at a higher level, to have more rights. Like, I had the right to keep my shoes on. I had the right not to pull out my little toiletry bag in the TSI known traveler um, number game. Okay? So, the, it's very unlikely I'm going to be doing that much traveling. So, $85 at this point, plus I don't have a job anymore. <laughs> I'm a skincare professional who now is going to have to hawk her wares and be the artist I've always been. I have paintings and I have poetry, prose, a book, two, a book number one in the works, another one conceptually. I've got chapters here and there. And um, then I've got, uh, um, oh gosh, on my Patreon, Cat Woodland, I will be teaching chi and prana exercises. So, okay, before I go in, this right here is your, is your immune system. You take and you tap it, okay? So let's do that right now. From wherever you are, clear your area here. Because what you're going to do is that. Breathing. You can do it like that. These are called chest thumps. So chest thump appropriately and beneficially for you. <laughs> no black and blues, no bruising. <sighs> and you breathe. So the two most important things that you can do to calm yourself down if you ever get afraid from these lying fucks on television that are actually demons. A demon lies. No, they are not going to come door to door giving you a forced vaccination. Why would they? It's too expensive. Do you really think they care about you? No. What they care about is taxpayer dollars. Which brings me to the measly $1,200 they want to give to people who qualify for it. Um, that they then get taxed on. Okay, so you better take your little measly 1200 that they decided was gonna like be enough for the average American. The average fucking American must not be making much money. Because $1,200 is a nit to what I would require in my world um, to pay for things. So 
I'm gonna have to become very creative and very resourceful and, you know, put out my work. Everybody has a situation in their life in which this situation, situation is a situation. It's a real situation. We're not in a situation room. <laughs> we're, in a, we're in a situational lockdown because essentially, um, this is the change we've all been waiting for. We all knew it was coming, at least some of us, and we just didn't know how it was gonna go down, did we? And the way it's going down is through sphere, and if you are afraid, then you need to do something about that because there's no need to be afraid of something that is gonna happen anyway. And what's gonna happen anyway? You're gonna have volunteers they are so convinced that they need this vaccination, that this vaccination is going to save their asses, they will be lined up. They're going to have enough test subjects, human, that they're not going to come knocking on your door to come get you. And I'd really like to see them try that in America anyway, with all of the people that still have the right to bear arms and have a brain in their head because they're not completely brainwashed. It hasn't been washed away by all the bullshit that's coming out of the television set. And people don't get it. And I'm not going to worry about it too much for them because in the words of George Carlin, I'm divorcing myself from the subject. What else does he say? Because the end is good. I'm not better, I'm not different. I'm just a part now. I'm separate, I'm over here because I put myself out of the mix. I don't have a stake in the outcome. I'm not a cheerleader for a given outcome. Now, oh, yes. they say if you scratch a cynic, you'll find a disappointed idealist. Right? And incremental change, it just seems like the pile of shit is too deep. Incremental change. The pile of shit is too deep. Which is why we had to have a big thing like this. Humans are meant to be creative. We're creative resourceful, ingen we have ingenuity, unless you, you've dumbed down yourself to the point of absolutely none of that. Um, <laughs> and this one, George Carlin tells us about the coronavirus. Someone um, obviously changed the title on it, but it's good. I told us about the corona panic years ago. He didn't tell us about the corona panic. He basically was suggesting that They've been throwing diseases at us for a really long time. Build up your immune system. So this one is on with all due offense. It's a big channel, and that's the name of it. If you want to go look at it, it actually is really worth watching, and it's not that long. It's only uh, three minutes and four seconds. So I did already play another video, and hopefully I won't get a copyright strike, um, but if I do, so be it. I'll just make another one. Um, and then he also said, here, here's another one, life is worth losing, dumb Americans. Um, talking just about how many dumb people exist. And obese ones. So, you know, what I want, what I did watch him when I was growing up, um, but like in, in 1967, um, when he was 30, I was four, to put it into perspective. So he's 26 years, my, my senior in, in life and in experience. And he also, being in comedy, became somebody who, um, a comedian, the, the best ones, including the ones that are suicided, like Robin Williams, um, have insight into the world. They see it through a different lens. And a lot of what he, he, he just said um, was that he, he divorced himself. He no longer became emotionally rattled. And the key here, and the cue here is for you regarding this virus and any other pandemic because there's just gonna, oh, there's gonna be another one. It's gonna be even worse. It's gonna come back in two weeks. It's gonna be even worse. Oh, and it comes in on the bottom of your shoes and it's gonna be worse. Take your shoes off at the door like the Japanese motherfucker. <laughs> this video is not made for children. So, 
And I'm not on radio, so I get to say the F-bomb all I want to. Uh-huh. And last I looked, it was still a free country <laughs> with censorship. And they also, they blacklist you. Okay, so they blacklist. So I couldn't find any information on the internet when I wanted to type in um, post 9-11 Bush lying with Powell. Because I could, I saw when they were announcing um, the, the, they were talking in interviews about how they weren't going to go to war. He was lying. I, you can't, I can see a lie. I'm gifted with the ability to see a lie. And I knew it then and then shortly after we were in war. So, this is what I'm saying. When you've got that little guy with the, with the glasses that's scary, that does some sort of announcements all the time, and he's got like this shit-eating grin on his face, sort of like Bush did when um, he was talking about we were going to go to war, and then he came out on one of the, he came out packing, like our president was wearing a flight suit with a big sausage put into his, his pants to show like he was the man, and then he comes out with, with his like, in his flight suit, with a big sausage in his bulging pants to show what a man he was. Well, you can see he was lying. So this puppet with the glasses that makes these statements out there, and yes, he's on, he's on the current administration's team. The, I am apolitical. I don't believe in politics at all. I think it's all the same coin, different, different side. I don't cheerlead for either one. Um, it's more of a uh, spectacle. So anyway... Um, don't worry, little kitties. There will be no forced vaccination at all, unless you allow it. And you won't allow it, but it's because they're never gonna knock on your door. You're not that important. <laughs> Especially if you're not adding to their, you know, giving them as many, uh, gosh, okay. <laughs> they can't do it. Plus, it would cost too much money. And they love money more than they like fucking with you, my friend. They, whoever they are, like money and power. So all they can do is have a power over your what? Your willpower? No. They can't force you. You would actually end up becoming so freaking afraid that you will run there. Like my parents will run and get the flu shot and they get the flu every year. And it's, oh, but it's so much better, my mother says. She's a normie. She's a fucking Christian normie and I love Christ. And he has risen. And he has risen in me and in, in the awareness of who we are, divine creatures of the universe, of the creator. And the creator made our bodies strong and they gave us an immune system. And these guys are lying to us that they're saying it's bioengineered. You wanna know why they say that? I believed it for the longest time. I'm like, these fucks. I even put it into one of my videos. I was like, oh yeah. And then they created this and threw it at us, da 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 da. Let's just, hypothetically speaking, it's not bioengineered. Mother Nature created it in response to all the awful things that are going on on the planet and to her children. And the children are all living sentient beings that have um, a connection to love and life. That's who matters on this planet. She's not going to kill you off. <laughs> Who's dying? Who's dying? The old, the young, the weak. Okay? Who's dying? And it's like when you hear somebody on the internet and they're like going D -d 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 in the comments, um, it's not true. It doesn't exist. And someone else, oh, but my grand, my sister had it, or so and so had it, and they died, and we were all sick, and it was terrible. And then, um, it's like, okay, we all have it. You got to use your national mind and think about what the tests are. What are the tests? What are they testing for? What are positive tests look like? Is this in us already? Like asymptomatic versus symptomatic? What have they been spraying on us from the aerosol um, treatments that we're getting for climate control, including DNA? People have tested this. 
I don't know any of them. So yeah, where's your proof? We all have it. <laughs> We're all positive. And guess what? We're all in quarantine. We're all doing our own version of self-care and self-change if we're smart. Use this time. It's quiet. There's no frantic energy out there. There aren't all these idiots running around doing stupid, distracting things because the businesses are all closed. <laughs> I've never had such an easy time getting on the internet. <laughs> everyone's like, oh, but everyone's going to be home. And then you're going to have a hard time getting on the internet. My 3G system is better than ever. <laughs> there you have it. So the puppet, when he gets up there and says, oh, we're considering it, and then everyone freaks out, oh, it's like, don't feed the fear pool. Go into the joy. Feel the joy. Go, oh. Well, that's actually pretty scary. So just recognize the thought itself is scary. Is it true? Is it happening now? Are they knocking on people's doors? Is any of this happening now? No. Then what are you afraid of? False evidence appearing real. There's a person up there telling the American people in the press room that they're considering doing this. <laughs> and the people freak out. So it's all about keeping the, keeping the, the fear going. Um, and, you know, it's like that song, um, you know, we love dirty laundry, um, the Eagles. Um, she can tell you about the plane crash with the gleam in her eye. We know television lies with their dirty laundry. Those are all paid actors and actresses, friends. Those are all paid actors and actresses. They're paid the big bucks to look at you and tell you crap that's awful and disgusting and do it looking glamorous. So my good news is demons lie and they are manipulative and sly and you whitey especially are naive and gullible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're naive and gullible even considering that there's such a thing as white privilege Pah! and that there is a patriarchy. Big fucking lie right there. <laughs> I actually had some black guy give me a black thumbs down because he made a racist comment about how the COVID, the con-id, was going to actually, um, maybe it will take out the white supremacists. And someone was like, uh, said something that was actually very insightful and smart. And I was like, yeah, but disasters are colorblind. And he gave me a boo and a black thumbs down. And I was like, yeah, boo hoo hoo. Victim, you know, I believe in reincarnation. I believe in karma. Maybe that black person was a raging white supremacist for real who lynched black people and hung them and killed them and did awful things to these beautiful, beautiful people. I, for one, have always considered the black race to be beautiful. But whitey, there is no such thing as white privilege. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get blamed for something that isn't even fucking real. <laughs> and arguably, I won't argue with you. I know what I know. You figure it out. I'm not here to convince you otherwise. So anyway, you're gullible. You're willing to take the shit for somebody else's shit. You're really willing to take the rap for somebody else's shit. You know, the sins of your fathers. It's like, I see how the men I've known in my life have been treated because they're white. And it's fucking cruel. Yeah, the F-bomb's being used a lot. <laughs> the F-bomb's being used a lot, folks. Learn to love it. Learn to love it. Learn to actually see what's going on and go, fuck this shit. And like live a life. Like I had a conversation with my guy. And I said to him, you know, I heard that 5G cock and Mimi, And I thought about it. And I go, yeah, it is true. We're electromagnetic. That 5G has a frequency that it can oscillate and create disruptions in the human energy system. But the human energy system can go out into the telaric herd of the earth, plug in, and learn how to run their energy. You just go outside, touch a tree, be in nature. 
hard to do nowadays with the enforcement, but how else are you going to get prana? You know, prana, like that. And also, if you do a lot of wiggling, I'll demonstrate that another time. I don't feel like doing it right now. But basically, well, I'll show you. You basically want to, um, you know, stand, and you basically shake your entire body. And you start off from the, from the, my legs are about this far apart. Okay, I've got a leg here and a leg here, right down there, boop, on the ground. And then you stand there, and you just start moving your legs back and forth, and your entire body shakes. This is lymphatic system stimulation. And you can put the sound into it if you want. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Ground yourself. And like like talking into a fan when you're a kid. Vibration. Get into vibration. Get into the chi and energy of, of nature. All those things will help you. So anyway, I said to him, my guy, um, my guy, we got married on 12 12 2009 at 12 12 during some sort of super moon then or an eclipse or something but anyway it was powerful <laughs> we got married in the etheric so <clears throat> he he listened to what i had to say uh, and i said you know um i think instead that a person's belief system is going to uh, determine how they pan out, how this happens for them. And um, to maintain a healthy immune system means maintaining uh, bravery of heart, brave heart, not, not afraid. So they're doing everything they can to frighten the human because we are inherently gullible. Um, we're little rule followers. And I'm not saying to protest. I'm saying that... Um, don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. That's the best thing. There's always going to come up with another thing. Oh, it's going to get worse in two weeks. Oh, <clears throat> or, oh, you're fucked because it wasn't the disease after all. It's 5G and it's a DEW, directed energy weapon. It is going to come to a neighborhood near you. That's the sort of thing they, that they, they feed. Oh, and there's also this bot that changes his name from Tim to Tom. And he's out there on the internet. And people are like, oh, there's a bot. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's been on my little puny channel, too. He is everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't make me special. It doesn't make me threatened. It doesn't make me afraid. It is a it. <laughs> I'm a loving, living example of divine human existence. I am, I am, I am. Cheers to that, folks. Cheers to that. And so are you. So get in with your program, yours, your purpose, your zest. And that was the other thing my guy said. He goes, he goes, yeah, you know, I know that you entertain ideas and then you, you know, check them out and stuff like that. And meanwhile, he's, he's very much aware of the possibility of an actual virus, but he's not afraid because we both have looked at the facts. You know, the facts are speak for themselves um, because it hasn't killed that many people that it, that it, but it's infected. You know, so to me, this is what's going down. If I were Mother Nature, which I'm not, but I'm related to her because I'm her daughter, I would have made it so that yeah, a virus would get released. It wasn't bioengineered because nobody's that smart. If it was bioengineered, who the fuck cares? It's too late to do anything about it now. <laughs> you, you gotta find a way to not have a, a new normal at all. Why don't you have an abnormal? Why don't you actually rise to the occasion and be somebody? 
the person you were meant to be, for you were conned into the idea that the only fruitful uh, endeavors worth anything are those that have money attached to them. Oh, don't paint and be creative. You can't make any money out of it. Why do you want to do that? You can't make any money out of it. Yeah, you can't make any money out of fucking either, but you do it all the time because it feels good. <laughs> At least I have somebody, I, I, I told you, I was going to have permanent, permanent bedhead for the, the entire month of April because of my man, who I love. So, you know what, there's a reason why we say, oh God, when we're having sex, and there was a reason why creation gave it to us in the first place. It feels good. It's healing. So do what feels good, do what's healing. Not what feels good and it's, it's life depleting. No. Because remember, the next thing to be frightened of, if you let it, is yet another asteroid out there. <laughs> remember, the asteroid is also one nine and it's breaking apart, just like this situation. It's breaking apart. And when something breaks apart, you get to see it in a less threatening way. So start looking at the situation that we have on planet Earth through a different way of viewing it. Be imaginative. Write a story. <laughs> Share it with others. Um, we'll talk again soon. Keep up your spirits. Don't be afraid. Get outside. Dance. Bye, Miss Thumps. And, uh, you know, get busy living. <laughs>